Hello there, my name is Mark and today I'll be talking to you about existing solutions for vitamin D deficiency. So the first solution I'd like to talk about is exposure to sunlight and UV radiation. And this stimulates the creation of vitamin D3 or cholecalciferol in the skin. So I'd call this organic chemistry because cholecalciferol is an organic compound it's made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Who discovered this solution? I'd, I'd call the discoverer uh, this German pediatrician named Kurt Holdschinski. I'm unsure if I'm saying that correctly. But he found that UV radiation had a healing effect on those with rickets, which is caused by a vitamin D deficiency. At the time, uh, people didn't know that vitamin D existed, so uh, I don't know if you can call that a discovery, but uh, I'm going to count it because he found that UV radiation kind of cured vitamin D deficiency. So how would this be enrolled? So people with vitamin D deficiency would have to go outside, sit in the sun, let their skin absorb sunlight. Uh, but some barriers to this solution are people who work from home and can't leave their house because they're working, have mobility issues, so people in wheelchairs or people who are paralyzed or the elderly, in the location of where you live. So if you live really far north and it's never sunny outside, going outside is not going to help you. Solution two. Uh, taking supplements of vitamin D. I'd call this organic chemistry. Vitamin D is made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. History. Uh, I couldn't find who exactly discovered that taking supplements of vitamin D cured vitamin D deficiency. I mean, I'd kind of call it common sense because it's in the name taking the thing that you're deficient in kind of improves or lessens your deficiency of that thing uh, enrollment people would have to purchase and take vitamin D supplements some barriers to this would be the cost for getting to take the vitamin D supplement and the availability of supplements Solution three, modifying your diet. Once again, I'd call this organic chemistry for the same reason, vitamin D is made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. History, I don't know who discovered this because uh, I'm not quite sure who discovered what foods contain vitamin D, but uh, I'd, I'd say that the same person who figured out what foods contain vitamin D also kind of discovered that modifying your diet to include those foods would be a solution of vitamin D deficiency because once again, if you're taking the thing that you're deficient in, you're going to become less deficient in that thing. So enrollment people would have to purchase and consume foods with higher levels of vitamin D. Uh, things like cod liver and vitamin D fortified milk. Uh, and manufacturers may have to fortify their products with vitamin D so that people can get vitamin D from more foods. But some possible barriers to this are the cost of buying food people's allergies to different types of foods and intolerance to food products. Like, for example, people who are lactose intolerant can't really drink vitamin D fortified milk, which prevents them from fixing their issues. Out of all the solutions, I think that the easiest to implement individually would be solution one. Uh, and 
personally, I think it's the best solution too, as it's impossible to overdose on vitamin D from sunlight because your skin just kind of reaches an equilibrium where it only, pro once you've reached the amount of vitamin D you need, your skin just produces it at the same rate that you lose it. So you just kind of reach a nice equilibrium. And that's all I have to say t for today. Thank you all for listening.